Okay, welcome everyone to this continuation of what is tropical geometry. And today I would really just like to play with pictures. I uh, kind of want to kind of nail down, nail in, make it more easier to understand the notion of a tropical variety. And the one test case, because I can draw that nicely, are uh, tropical curves. So today we have a look at tropical curves, a lot of tropical curves, kind of a lot of fun. So tropical curve, I will explain that this two variable thing. I will explain that later. Two variables means I can plot that in, in the plane, which makes it kind of nicer. And that's why tropical curves are kind of really usually the test case for everything to come. Okay, tropical line. Let's start with a tropical line. So classical line, a uh, x plus b y plus c equals zero. Hopefully, you know, everyone here has seen a tropical line. No, top, not a tropical line, a classical line. And then you apply the tropicalization and you get this min function, right? So ax turns into a plus x, bx turns into by turns into b plus y, c is just c, and then the min over all of them. And the, the tropical line will be now the tropical solutions to that. And by that, we mean the breaking points of the function, right? Remember that we have this function and we want to study the breaking points. So if I press it flat, here is my tropical variety, right? The, the white part is the tropical variety. So this here is a tropical line, a trivalent vertex. A trivalent vertex, three outgoing edges. And these things are called rays, sometimes tentacles. These are the things that go to infinity. Yeah, so trivalent vertex, three outgoing rays. So that's, that's a tropical line. Um, let's zoom in on a tropical line. So here I have um, a little picture of a tropical line. Um, let's make this a bit bigger. There you go. Very nice. So it's not pressed flat. It's really the function and the breaking point is a tropical line. And here's an ABC and I can play around with ABC and you will see what changes. So A is kind of, you could literally see that, it's like the size of this face here. All right, so if I make it bigger, this face gets bigger. It takes a while to load. But anyway, ignore that. I'm not really sophisticated with coding. If I make it smaller, this face gets smaller. Similarly, B, the same second parameter, um, will affect the next phase. Yeah, something like that. Kind of do does this phase here, and you can go back and it will get smaller. Uh, so I should I should press on B. Why do I press on A? I should actually minimize A so I won't press on it again. Excellent. And now I have also parameter C, and it corresponds to the top thing, right? If I make it bigger, it kind of vanishes the top thing. Okay, right, it makes it smaller. So that's why it has three components. So tropical line, so A, like this, here's the AX if you want, here is the BY, and here is the C, right? So that's kind of the, the way to split it. Um, also, I'm never really sure whether I should swap those two, so don't take that too serious. But one of them here along this kind of arc, you have kind of the degree one things, uh, here of the degree zero things. And this kind of a general pattern as we will see uh, now, because now you could study it quadric. Yeah? Quadric, really just quadratic things, and you take do the same thing, do the minimum, and whatever. It's exactly the same, and now you have this really beautiful thing that the, the F component is somewhere here, uh, the DX is somewhere here, uh, the EY is somewhere here, and let's say the AX squared is here, uh, the xy thing is here. Uh, what is my xy? C xy and the by squared will affect this little area. And you have this little uh, beautiful picture where degree zero is kind of here, degree one is kind of here, and degree two is kind of here. And you kind of can imagine how the generalization looks like. So here's this uh, beautiful picture that is very nicely illustrated in the book I'm following. So uh, remember that I have this book by, uh, uh, by those guys, <laughs> by those guys, and they have this absolutely fantastic picture of a tropical, of a tropical curve. They do a lot of tropical blah 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 blah. Um, they have actually really good. So yeah, I will scroll for a second now. So let me say that the book is really nice. Link is in the description, and here is the picture. I mean, right. Um, Turns out that they have the convention the other way around. Here's X, here's Y. But anyway, it's kind of the same pattern. You press it flat. And yeah, it's, it's exactly those points that are uh, kind of affected by the equation. So this is how your tropical curves essentially work, right? So in the next, you can imagine you have another layer and another layer and another layer or whatever. 
And then there's an additional pattern which I would like to mention. Um, I can try to pull this in here again. So here's my tropical, the one, the tropical uh, thing. And here's my, my next one. And you can see this little closed component up here. It's kind of interesting. And you can uh, vary the parameters as well. So it makes it a bit different. And now it's disappeared. And now it can come up again, for example, depending on the parameters. And the equation I'm not showing you, and that I'm not showing you now, well, later, I guess, or never. Um, so let me just show you the equation in, in Mathematica. Here it is. 3x, so x cubed, 2y, xy. So this is an elliptic curve, if you look at this. This is a cubic term, there's a quadratic term in y, and those mixed terms. This is usually an elliptic curve, and a tropical elliptic curve is something which has a one face somewhere, right? So a little bit of a of a face uh, down here. So uh, classical elliptic curve, uh, mim mimicking standard algebraic geometry, is a, essentially a smooth degree three curve of genus one. Okay. Degree three, yeah, that kind of makes sense. You have an x cubed. Uh, what is genus one? What is smooth? Uh, who knows? Uh, tropical is exactly the same. So what is smooth? What is genus one? I will explain it in a second. Uh, so yeah, it's really the same definition and it's kind of nice. So tropical function, tropical variety is really just, uh, sorry, not a tropical variety, a tropical curve is really just a tropical function in two variables and the variety is the tropical curve. And the degree is the exponent in the classical polynomial. Yeah, Smooth is kind of a fun condition. So the correct replacement for smooth in tropical land is that every vertex has degree three. And right? every vertex you see has degree three Everything is kind of a tripod, a trivalent vertex. That's called smooth. This one is smooth. Uh, this one is smooth. And this one is not smooth. So you have a four-valent vertex, huh? non-smooth example. So smooth is only trivalent vertices in this case. Um, and yeah, it's, had, it's not really smooth in the standard sense of smooth, but it's still smooth, if you know what I mean. Anyway, this is in tropical, tropical smooth, if you want. So only trivalent vertices, actually a really easy condition and the genus is just the number of holes that you see. Genus is holes. So here's a hole, if you want, uh, in so a number of closed faces. Here's a hole in the tropical variety. So there's one of them, so it's genus one. And everything else is a ray, right? It goes outwards. Everything else is an unbounded face. There's one bounded face. One bounded face is a genus of the curve. And then you can play the same game as with usual curves. It's kind of a lot of fun. Um, so let's, let's actually play one of those games. Um, so if you go to this Mathematica demonstration website, uh, which is linked in the description, tropical curves, here are the credits. So really nice illustration, uh, a few years old now, but still, still pretty good. So you can actually play around with tropical curves. It's the same plot that I used. I just got rid of the contour lines. So it's a pressed down plot and the white thing is actually our tropical curve. And there are quite a few parameters to play around with. And it's a lot of fun to just click on randomize. It takes a second and it will load um, another tropical curve. Hopefully this actually works now. <laughs> oh, took a while. This one is singular. Well, it's a four villain vertex. So it actually loads a while, but you can do it live. You don't need to install anything. It's kind of nice. So here, a nice smooth curve is trivalent vertices. Uh, randomize. Let's see whether I can create a face. Um, otherwise, I just call it a day. And eh, this one is difficult to see. You can also zoom in if you want. Here's a zoom in, but let's not zoom in. Uh, but this is how tropical curves look like. Quite high degree tropical curves. Um, still genus zero as far as I can tell. Uh, this might have genus one. There's a little face down here. It's kind of very... So this is a trop these are tropical curves. Very beautiful. One more and then... I guess uh, we understand what a tropical curve is. Kind of mm, one more, come on. Ooh, that one is nice. Interesting. So these are examples of tropical curves. The link to this demonstration is uh, in the description. You have those internal edges. Here's I was able to create a face actually. Internal edges and rays. It's actually pretty beautiful. And the link is actually on the slide. Ah, oh, wonderful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I also hope to see you next time.